Good morning, folks. Today we'll watch a big solar eruption that has no chance of hitting Earth. See reasons to keep eyes open, though, and run down the weather situation as well. But over at spaceweathernews.com, we begin with a fairly calm sun. Bottom left, watch the corona ripple from a far side blast. Dark coronal holes turning through and no flashes of solar flares. X-ray charts showing flat line flaring as well. And it's no surprise with a mostly blank disk. Sunspot count won't hit zero, though, as we've got newcomers on the northeastern limb. Earth's magnetic field taking a nudge of pressure over the last few hours, and isolated disruptions to storm level have even occurred already. This is as the magnetic shifts of the phi angle have Earth on alert, on its toes, with a coronal hole stream and faster particles on their way in the coming day or so. Geomagnetic storms are expected if the speed ramps up to 500 kilometers per second, and there's a good leading density shock with it. Again, the streams are coming out of this coronal hole on the south, facing Earth through the weekend, and driving an earthquake uptick watch. But it's not just the coronal hole. If you see the rippling of the corona on the left, veteran observers know a large solar eruption has just taken place. But it happened on the far side of the sun where we can't see it unless we look through stereo A, which easily picked up the solar flare and CME coming from that sunspot grouping. It won't come near Earth because it blasted off the non-Earth-facing side of the sun, but the longitudinal coupling for quakes in the tropics will last for about two and a half days. Further quake watch notes to come on Twitter. That's a zero at the end, not an O. Anyway, if you can see how the loop of plasma fields extended and then released, there just so happens to be a brand new paper out about that exact type of release of solar plasma. The pinch creates a lifting and departing bulge of plasma that eventually just rips away down the current sheet and through the interplanetary magnetic fields. Next, we're at Gaia where I won't spoil all the fun at the link, but she's mapped much of our galaxy and even showing us how fast stars are moving. Julia Gulia changing her mind and staying put in the Sandler beaches, I mean sandy beaches of the southeastern United States. Just watch the timestamps below. This thing isn't planning on going anywhere. Flood threat remains in a big way. Also need to be watching south of Mexico. Another earth spot could threaten the southwest while also putting nearby faults on watch. And speaking of rain and flooding, it's a problem in the east as well. Not only where a powerful storm just ripped across Australia towards New Zealand, but north of that where the typhoon made its way to China now as well. Remember from yesterday, there is another one right behind it, so no rest for the weary. You don't want to laugh, but come on now. Go inside and stop doing what you're doing. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.